What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the New Age rear window, their version of a legend scale reflector. Not any reflector, the Golden Lagoon version of reflector. So I haven't taken a look at this figure before on my channel, so we are going to kind of give it a full review. However, thanks to G Tony for sending these out to me, um, I do have all of the Golden Lagoon figures. So we are going to take a look at the Megatron, the Soundwave, and the Starscream from that Golden Lagoon episode. Since we've already looked at those figures, we're not going to spend a lot of time. We'll spend the most majority of time on these guys. But thanks again to G Tony for sending it out. On the box here, it's interesting. It says Golden Company which that's the first time it's said that. They haven't said that on the box before, so I guess they're saying New Age is a golden company. But that's kind of cool. They are different, so if you look at each of their faces, you can see they got slightly different expressions there. You know, this one, I mean, they're both kind of like, duh, whatever, but um, they do have different expressions. And then this one has a slightly diff different expression as well. So that's kind of cool. And sorry, my surface here isn't even... Uh, they do have that translucent piece on the chest with gold paint behind it. That looks really nice. And on the back, they are slightly different. Obviously, the two clones, the outside of the left and right side of the camera are the same in terms of their sculpt, but just mirrored. Whereas this guy is slightly different. But they all look really good together. I mean, they're just really well done. Of course, you get some accessories with these guys. So you do get this lens here. I haven't found a way for them to hold this, unfortunately. So I don't know if you can or can't, and you know, there's no way to mount it anywhere or anything like that. Um, you might be able to do this. So he does have the two holes there. You might be able to get this here. I don't know, maybe, no, you can't. So I'm not really sure if you can hold this, but that looks beautiful. You can see it's got the gold paint there. And we'll take a look at this a little bit later. You also get this flash here, a same kind of thing, tr translucent with the gold paint there. They can hold these, so one of them can hold this as a weapon. And my apologies for them keep falling down, but that looks really nice. They do each come with a weapon, which you have to cut off of a sprue. So they came on this right here. Uh, these are also painted gold. So there you go, all of them holding their weapons. That looks good. Nice accessory. Fun final accessory, you do get the mini little camera here. So there is a tab right here for somebody to hold it. You can put the camera here and then he can be taking a picture or whatever. That looks really cool. All right, so we'll just leave Megatron back here for now since we brought him out to show that camera feature. Getting back to these guys, uh, their articulation is uh, pretty good, so let's go over that. The head is on a ball joint, so it gets all the way up to there, down to there, it rotates around. It gets a little hindered by these side panels, but you can rotate it. The shoulders rotate all the way around on the ball joint, they go up to there. You have a rotation at the elbow because it's on a ball joint. It rotates up to there, so you get basically a 90 degree bend. The Hands actually do bend upwards as well, but that's for transformation. Coming down, you have a rotation at the waist. You have a leg joint. They're really tight, so they tend to move together. But it goes up to there, back to there, out to the side. Rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee. No, uh, is that single jointed? Yes. Single jointed, but it gets you past 90 degrees due to the sculpt. Smart. You have a toe tilt here, and you have a, do we have an ankle tilt? Thought we had an ankle tilt. Yeah, you do. You have an ankle tilt that way. So really smart stuff here for articulation. They did a great job on these guys. Now for a size comparison, and just for fun, there they are with their Golden Lagoon crew. So you've got Soundwave, or they call them Scaramanga. Their Starscream or Lucifer, and then their Megatron or Agamemnon or Hinkle, whatever name you want to use. And uh, it looks really good. 
Since we've looked at these before, I'm just going to take a minute to show you these up close, how they look in this golden version. Um, but we're not going to spend too much time since we've reviewed those other three figures before. First, we'll start with the Megatron. You can see fully golden. They did change his mace into this translucent yellow. That looks really cool. Here's the back. Pretty much the same as the figure we just reviewed. He does come with golden accessories, so his gun is now gold instead of the purple. That looks nice. And we'll look at the rest of his accessories when we get to the alt modes for these guys, but just really cool looking. And here's Starscream, or Lucifer. You can see he's fully gold. The cockpit's now been painted in that gold as well. You do get the feet, which are die cast, but because they're painted, it just comes out this shiny metal. I mean, it's crazy good looking. <laughs> it's uh, really, haven't seen anything like that before. Here's the back. Pretty clean. He does come with his Megatron gun, and of course the Megatron gun is gold because he's been in the Golden Lagoon as well. So that just looks really nice. Um, he also comes with the other accessories, so he does have these translucent pieces here. Now those aren't golden this time, they did keep them translucent. I believe these are the same as the original. He also has these blast effects which you can put into his uh, feet here. They make more sense in the jet mode, but you can do this too. So I believe those are the same as what we got with the original. So that's it for Lucifer. And last but not least, we get Soundwave, Scaramanga. He looks really cool. He's got the translucent gold now instead of the clear. And if you open up this chest, you can see that is a gold translucent. You can put a tape in there. Here is Ravage. Since he's the least good looking in alt mode, I decided to keep him in the tape mode. You can get him in there, close that up. There, That's what it looks like with him in there. He also has die cast feet and they're painted in this really shiny gold. That's really cool looking. Here's the back. You do still have the laser beak that has the magnet there that sticks on his arm. And the Rat Bat also has it. The Rat Bat's probably the least good looking out of all of these, but it's still pretty cool. And then here's Rumble or Frenzy. I don't know which one this is since he doesn't have a color. He's not red or blue. He's just gold. Uh, but that looks really cool too. So really nice set here for the Golden Lagoon. All right, now let's get these guys transformed into their camera mode. Since these two are the same, they're mirror images, we'll just do one of them and then we'll do the other one off camera and then we'll do this one separately. So let's just set these two aside. We'll start off with this guy. So go ahead and get the arms folded up. So we're going to take the hands, fold those up, and then fold that up like that into an L. Same on this side. Get that folded up. Take the chest here. That's going to lift up. And this is nice gold paint, so you do want to be careful. There's a tab right there that's going to go into the chest. There's also a tab on this arm that's going to fit into the other arm. So get that in first. And then take this one, same thing. Get that in while also pegging them into each other on the bottom here. All right, next we're going to take the backpack here, lift this up, fold this out, come to this side here. There's a little piece that has to twist around and then fit in under there. Next we're going to take this piece here and that's going to fold out so you can just get a nail. They have little points to put your nail, which is really thoughtful. Just a great thinking, especially because it's such a small figure, you know, legend scale. It just... They're really good engineering. Um, fold these legs like this, so you have the foot straight out. And you might need a spudger for this. I like to use a spudger because it's a tiny little panel there. And then fold this entire panel down. It's going to accordion down and fit there, and then fold that inwards. All right. So repeat that process on this side. Fold that in. Get these legs tabbed together. And then accordion this down like this. And just get that flattened up like that. And then finally take this piece here. That's going to come down and tab in. And now we've got one side all done. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side off camera. All right, now I'll take care of the center guy here. So he does have a similar transformation, but a little bit of different here. Go ahead and take the arms, same thing, fold them up and into an L shape. We're going to pull this 
forward, so it's not quite the same as the other one. It doesn't fold upwards. It folds forward like that. And we're still going to get the arms folded in and tabbed in underneath that. So we'll do the same thing on this side. And again, it's tricky because you're doing it in the blind. You can't really see those tabs. So just do your best to get them tabbed into the front of the chest. All right, once you get that, then we can come to the back here, open up this piece right here. Then we're going to flip this around to the front. Take this, that's going to fold downwards. Take this panel, that's going to fold here and cover the front of the, the camera there. The legs are going to basically be the same as before. And again, I like to use a spudger here to get this panel open. Fold that down, fold this over, same on this side, pop that out, fold that down, fold that over, tab the legs together, and fold this upwards, and then this is going to sit on his back. And let's see, we did forget one little piece here, so fold out these little side panels right there, and now we can set those up in there. All right, make sure you have the legs actually tabbed in securely. All right, now that we have that done, we're going to get them kind of assembled. So you can see there's a slot there that's going to fit in. There's a tab here and a slot there. That's going to fit together just like that. And it is kind of a tight tab, especially with the gold paint in there. Right, get that aligned. Same on this side, except this has a over-under tab, so make sure you get that on here, and then tab it in to the side. And then you can get this pressed in as well. Right. And then finishing touches here, we're going to take the lens, and you can see how it's going to fit. There's two dots here, two dots here, that's going to fit just like that, into the front. Oh man. And then we're going to take this, and you can kind of put this on either side. It's just going to fit over the head. And there is rear window in his camera mode. Really, really cool. The gold on the lens and the gold on the flash really come out looking nicely here in the camera mode. I'm sure the original also looks nice as it's painted well, but this just really stands out. Here's the bottom, nice and clean. Probably get it a little cleaner. Here's the top, that looks good as well. The back is the only place where you can see some robot stuff, but even then, just really cool. You can pretend this is a button here. It actually has a button, which is really mind blowing. So if you take off this flash here, and it is a little tricky to get it off once you get it on, I suggest a spudger and just get it in between here. And you take apart this, and there are batteries that go inside of this piece there. Um, but you can see there's a button right here. That's just really cool. So it does light up. Because of the gold, it does kind of uh, block the light a little bit, but it really looks good. Under my bright lights, you probably can't see it. But what a cool feature to include in such a small figure like this. That's really mind-blowing. Uh, this takes AG8 batteries, by the way. And for comparison, there is rear window next to their version of Soundwave, Starscream, and Megatron, and amazing. Just looks so cool together. We'll take a look at each one of these individually. I just wanted to show you what they look like together. So first off, there is Starscream. He does have the shorter uh, missiles on there. Here's the bottom. Really nice looking jet overall. You can attach the Megatron gun if you want to on the side here, but I think it looks better without it. And here is the Megatron gun. It does have the movable trigger here, so you can actually hold it. It does actually look like a gun. I mean, it's really nice looking. You can take these attachments and get them on there. That's how I had them displayed earlier. And there you go. There's the full gun. It does actually look a little bit like the Starscream gun. This one doesn't have the stock or the... Uh, yeah, the stock on it, but 
looks really cool. And finally, here's the Soundwave. Again, really clean and good looking. It's It looked good in the original version as well, but I mean, the gold just really stands out. Of course, you can open up the tape deck here. It's kind of hard to get to with your uh, nails, so I recommend a, a spudger or anything else to, to kind of get in there. There you go, and you can take a tape. Now here's all the tapes. I converted them all back into tapes. So probably the tape that looks the most like a tape is Laserbeak. So I'll put him in here. Close that up, and there you go. That looks really cool. So final thoughts on the New Age rear window version of Reflector. Let's talk about the positives. The accessories it comes with are incredible. It comes with everything. You get the flash, you get the guns, you get the little mini reflector, you get the lens here that actually makes the shutter sound and lights up. That's just really cool. Um, overall, really cool accessories and inclusions. As far as the look, they look perfect. I mean, this set as a whole, they really nailed that Golden Lagoon look. The paint is outstanding. I have transformed them all back and forth, and I don't really have a lot of issues. There are little paint flecks here and there where the joints bend, but overall, I don't have any issues. I was really surprised at how well done the paint is on such small figures. It's just phenomenal. All the joints, the tolerances are really well done. Uh, but the only negative I can think of is the back of the camera mode looks a little robot-y. But that's it. I mean, this is an amazing set. So I'm sure the standard version of rear window looks great in the normal colors, but in this Golden Lagoon, color scheme even better. It's just amazing. Highly recommend this set. I also recommend all of these guys. The Soundwave is probably the best version of Soundwave at the Legend scale. The Megatron is also the best Megatron at the Legend scale. The Scarstream is pretty good too. Um, I, I really like the transformation on it. Um, I do have him here on the uh, flight stand and, or on a flight stand and I have the boosters back there. Um, all the accessories you get with him are really good too. So definitely recommend all of these guys. Now, if you're not into the Golden Lagoon look, of course you can get the standard look on them. Um, but that's really it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.